It's time for Rhythm Tracks. Rhythm Tracks. I can check that gear in a minute, so don't touch anything, okay? Hey, no speaky and glass. Yeah, I gotta get this dang thing to stop making guitar noises. Piece of steak on my face there. Hey! Get down from there! Now! I need your opinion on which curtains will look better in my guest bedroom. Now! Hey! Turn it over! There! Now get back up there! What if it bumped that control by accident? You'd be mincemeat by now. What have I told you? You don't work on equipment when the engine's running. Well, I told him not to touch anything. Well, I am Eric Stolt, after all. All right, I guess I wasn't thinking. Gotta count you for something. You weren't thinking? You mean you'll work on engines and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? I ought to kill you! Here. Shake hands with danger. <laughs> yeah. Shake hands with danger. <laughs> Need a guy who ought to know. Uh, you can stop shaking hands of danger now. Safety. <laughs> really now shaking. Call me. Three Finger Joe. Which is odd because I lost both my arms. <laughs> shake hands with danger. I gotta shake hands with a thunder bucket, I'm telling you. Be careless for a moment. Spend a lifetime with the blue. I got crushed by a road grader and now I just feel, I don't know, kind of blue. Just a little off. <laughs> Hell did you do that for? Moving machines are designed for safety. Hello? But they're big enough to hide a man. Or several David Spades is. Says... Ted, you could have killed me. This mechanic is lucky he's able to complain. He should have protected himself by removing the key and putting a do not operate tag on the controls. I'm gonna go back to my job of being a circuit court judge. Anytime you pick up a wrench, reach for a control, pick use a, a wrench, gun, <laughs> grab a welding torch, or work on any machine while forgetting safety, you're shaking hands with danger. Da 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 da. No, not yet. It seems to be biding his time. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Real all right, good. Now you take the right. loader up behind the hill where they're working. Now I'll drive up on the road and I'll meet you at the top. All right. Oh, and if okay, there's anything uh, you can do about you your know, glasses, please do it. This model before. <laughs> well, all right. All I have to do is back it up and then let it down nice and easy, like. You, you want me to do it? No, no, I can handle her. There's no sweat there. We can, we can take care All of it. All right, I have complete and utter confidence in you, guy who can't grow a mustache. There's uh, blood all over everything. I'm sure this is okay? Fine. That's all right. My delicately feathered hair will protect me. <laughs> no, that's the switch that turns on a constant loop of the music of Conway Twitty. Eight-track tapes of filthy trucker comedians. What this man didn't know was that the operator had left the lift lever in the raised position, so the arms would rise automatically when the engine started. I wrote a 30-minute song about this issue. I'm going to sing it to you right now. Well, the operator would have known better. The man shouldn't have tried to perform as an operator when he wasn't one. In fact, he's barely qualified to run the toaster of it. Alan Jackson, Alan ladies and is gentlemen. No beginner. Before he begins changing an O-ring on an excavator boom, he oh, yeah. checks. Oil temperature down, engine off. Red man supply restocked. Grounded, hydraulic lock engaged. Okay, he'll have that O-ring installed in minutes. Right after he makes a batch of his famous organic cranberry and black walnut biscotti. <laughs> I'll just be noodling here on the guitar and watching an episode of Dukes of Hazard with the sound down if you need me. Thank you, narrator. <laughs> no problem. So, uh, what else can I tell you about Chuck Hamlin? Oh yeah, he once ate four and a half pounds of Swanson Salisbury steak in one sitting. <laughs> Talk about shaking hands of danger. Yes, sir. Uh, Danger's chatting with some other people right now, but I'll just tap him on the shoulder, and when he can break away, I'll introduce you to him, and you can shake hands with Danger. Be nice here. Shake hands with tedium. Oh, and you know Chuck Hamlin, he doesn't own a couch. Just thought I'd throw that in there. 
He also had a few too many one Sunday afternoon and accidentally shot his cousin in the leg with a 10 gauge. No arrests were made. Oh, do, 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 do. That's right. <laughs> Ah, bury me with my Charlene Tilton poster. <laughs> Man, I really fell on my keys. Shake hands with danger. Take a chance that you won't fall. You'll save yourself a minute, but you may damn well lose it all. Oh, oh, keep it clean there, potty mouth. Yeah, and this was cleaned up for radio. You should hear the explicit version. You never heard the words <laughs> that many times in your whole life. Oh, oh dear. Wherever possible, the stick should be extended and the boom lowered so the work can be done at ground level. Jeez, the ground is still warm from Chuck's body. Use the service truck as a safe work platform. Well, here's the company grief council. (laughs) Firemen with tools can create a hazard. Use the steps and the grab irons. Keep at least three points of contact. Two feet and one hand unencumbered. And with every fiber of your being, try, try not to look like Al Franken. Try. Any shortcuts and you're inviting injury. In fact, taking shortcuts is often a quick road to trouble. Uh, a, a highway example, to the danger zone, consider what happened <laughs> if to you Harry will. Sanders. Harry has come to work with a problem. His son is having a football injured knee operated on this morning. Harry, Harry wants, wants to do to the operation his himself. Job and take a couple hours Save a little off money to there. his son. The operator has complained that the scraper is shifting too slow and the controls are sluggish. In a hurry, Harry pulls only one axle. The service manual says to pull both axles and disconnect steering. Harry's mustache Harry makes that the impossible. One axle removed and the differential unlocked, the machine shouldn't move. He's taken this shortcut before. Harry's a lazy ass slug Wait of a man. For the operator to return, Harry starts the machine in order to judge the problem. While he waits for the engine to warm, Harry's thoughts drift to worries about his son. I wonder who's going to replace Farrah Fawcett on Charlie's Angel. I said his son. Oh yeah, yeah. Wonder how the little mistake is. The accelerator by the narrator stick. there, Kevin. So then he checks the feel of the service brakes. Then he lets loose with a little one-cheek sneak. His attention is divided. While thinking about his son, his hands and feet go through motions he believes have become automatic. But then Harry also believes his wife's been faithful. In this absent-minded state, he unconsciously starts to steer, jams his foot on the differential lock, and the machine takes off. Luckily, Mr. Nolte was not at home at the time, though his floor-mounted mattress was damaged in the wreck. Oh, and Harry's son's surgery went badly, too. It's all touch and go. Lucky for the stunned operator, the machine stops itself. Thankfully, the machine is smarter than Harry. Harry is only bruised, but in a crowded area, he could have killed someone because he ignored safe procedure to save a few minutes' work. Shake Danger's hand? Hell, Harry ain't fit to wipe Danger's backside. Don't worry, folks. We sent out an agent to burn down Harry's house. Now, most people have days when they come to work with worries, hangovers, or distractions. Those are times for being doubly cautious. Ah, oh, dear! Yeah. Yeah. Insane yeah. grizzled yeah. clown! Put it back on! Elsewhere, it's danger time. Glenn Greenwood was victim of another kind of mental hazard. Ego. He conquered the world and made us all his subjects. Did you get that pen driver? No, but I got this drift. Just give it a whack. The enormous, Glenn unstoppable the ego of that man. Against badly chipped metal. Outraged. But he's wearing safety glasses, and uh, there's a macho thing involved here. He has to make up for asking Gary out on a want date. His friend to sneer at him for being overly cautious. So. Glenn shakes hands with danger. Glenn's manhood had already suffered a blow by wearing that kicky neckerchief. We had our crack sniper shoot Glenn to prove a point about safety. Maybe his friend would have laughed if Glenn had insisted upon playing it safe. But he sure as hell isn't laughing now. His friend is, though. With tools. The time to make sure you have a safe ending is before you start using them. They should be the right tools for the job and in safe condition. If Glenn's friend had ground off that mushroomed face... Hey, it's adolescent acne scars, you jerk. ...could have prevented that accident. No, it couldn't. 
Hey, Iron Man! Some old-timers think accidents happen only to greenhorns. Hey, Red. Or to Boston Brad lead singer Brad, Brad Dell. <laughs> let them learn the hard way, they say. Now, let them learn the hard way can be an attitude that results in serious injury. They won't just be shaking hands, they'll be giving danger a scented oil rub down. Rock, sorry about that. One word of caution from the old timer would have saved a lot of pain and lost work time. Danger's niece is cute though. And even the old timer can lapse into carelessness. No one is safe, ever! Safe Everyone run! Not correct when he starts. But he doesn't think about how much he's grinding down the wheel. Uh, he's too busy thinking up ways to burn the flesh off of greenhorns. He gets by with it on that longer piece. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Danger and the Red Dirt Danger, Danger Band. <laughs> Grinding wheels and metal are what made oh. three fingers go. <laughs> hey everyone, the cruel old bastard finally got his come up and <laughs> hope he dies! It isn't lack of familiarity with the job that causes most accidents. Often it's the routineness of the work that makes a person overconfident. Or Caterpillar just hires bone stupid workers. A job he's done at least a hundred times. Yep, love you too, Bill. If you were new at it, <laughs> Bill would be watching and thinking about every step. Now it's so routine that caution has been dulled. Shake hands with the. Oh, sorry, got ahead of myself there. <laughs> Easy does it. The hole is dry, the pin won't slide in. There's no stick or swab in the grease can, but he could surely find one if he took the time to search around. But he's just too gay. This is the moment. That split second when a man decides between being safe or shaking hands with danger. Me, I shook hands with mediocrity and I'm fine with it. Shaking hands with danger? Hey, he's putting his hand right up danger. Yeah, 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 all right. I'll never be able to punch Andy Dick! Just use your other hand. Oh, oh, right. Well, hey, problem solved. If he couldn't find a stick or a swab, Bill could have had the linking members moved apart and greased them separately. It would have been a nuisance, but Bill Myers would give anything to be able to go back and do it the right way. There's Bill again. Bill, you idiot. Shake hands with danger. Kelsey Grammer, no! Shake hands with danger. The shake hands with danger party mix. Shake hands with danger. Exchange terse emails with perilousness. Shake hands with danger. Leave a voicemail at the office number of hazard. Shake hands with danger. And friends I used to Could someone know. please cart off Chuck Hamlin's body? After all, he was your best O-ring replacer. He's just compost now. The relentless guilt of chopping off Bill's hand was too much for the front loader and had committed suicide by self-immolation. The bee, however, went on to lead a full and successful life and was able to sting Nicolas Cage in the face 38 times before retiring to Boca Raton. Not the bees! Bye, Wendy. Oh, good night. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.